Alright guys, so if you want to enable the scoreboard in Battlefield 2042, it is very simple. Um, a lot of people are returning the game and saying the game is bad because they have to, um, they can't use the scoreboard. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, turn the scoreboard on. Let me get that kill real quick. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is if you press the touchpad, you see it opens the map. No one really uses this map that much. You really don't use it as much as you think you use it. So what you want to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this volume down real quick just to make sure everything is, um, you'll be able to hear my voice since I'm doing it in game. I'm not recording this. Doing this live. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is pause the game. Go over to controller. Go to on foot. Um, I'm sorry, actually go to control tune. No, it's control mapping. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, go to control mapping. Right here where it says full map, you want to click it and then hold the, uh, the options button to clear it. And then you want to go over to on foot. Right now we're on common. If you press R2, you go over to on foot. Scroll all the way down. This one's going to be a little bit further at the bottom. Once you scroll all the way down, you see full map again. You want to just clear that. Now right under this one here in the on foot, you see scoreboard, but it's not bound. So I think what they did this year is they just made it to where people stopped focusing on kills and they started focusing more on what's going on in the game. But I personally like to see how good I'm doing and how bad I'm doing. If you enable the scoreboard, it'll allow you to um, see your deaths, your assists, your um, kills, and your uh, some other stuff as well too. So what I did was I clicked this and then I just bound it to the touchpad. It's really hard to find another button to bind it to if you guys know anything better than that. For PS5, just uh, probably comment down below and let me know. So as you guys can see, after you do that, you have to go into controller. And then you have to turn on custom controls. So right here on soldier controls and soldier buttons, you just um, go over to the left, one option from default. And then after you do that, as you can see, when you hold the touchpad, as you can see, I just got a kill over there. So I'm on the board right there. I hurt the goat. Um, the death icon shows the kill. So I got one kill, zero assists. Um... I'm not sure what the right one is. If someone could comment that for me, I don't know what that is. Um, and if you want to look at your depths, if you look at the top far right hand side, it, oh, okay, so it says revives. So actually, the third one in the category is revives. It says it there in the top right. You got kills, assists, revives, captures, defenses, and deaths. It also shows you your ribbons there, players connected. As you can see, it's 32v32 right now. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you got any questions, comment below. I think I started the PS4 version of Battlefield on my PS5 on accident now that I see the 32v32. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and you and it helped you out a lot. And if it did, please drop a like and uh, share it with your friends. We want more people on this game. This game is not that bad. It's not the worst game ever. It just needs a lot. Uh, definitely needs a, a, a lot of fixes and um, definitely need an update version. They need to fix a lot of glitches and things like that. The hit registration is kind of off a little bit, but... I feel like they'll work it out eventually and we'll be able to play normal again. So, yep, yeah, if you like this video again, drop a like, comment down below, share with your friends and enjoy. And I hope that helps you. And I'm out. Peace.